Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am the Grand Cat and today we have two brand new wrestling belts to add to our wrestling belts collection. It has been a while since we've had a brand new wrestling belt. At the point of recording this, it is right before WWE's Clash at the Castle. I have just been to the official WWE Clash at the Castle store and there you go, there is the I was there, the official limited edition Clash at the Castle Clash at the Castle badge, he said, losing the ability to speak. And from there, we have got ourselves these brand new lovely belts. Let me just turn the light on. Oh my goodness, there's a little bit of reflection, but it will look good in just a moment. And once we get this out of its packaging. So this is brand new. It has came from the official event, there you can see there's the official little hologram and we're going to open this up WWE Heavyweight Championship toy title so this came from the actual Clash at the Castle venue uh, the arena gave these belts to the store that opened up, it's a pop-up shop that opened up in Glasgow to celebrate and get people excited for Clash at the Castle this weekend Tomorrow is going to be Smackdown before Clash of the Castle, and then the day after that is going to be Clash of the Castle itself. So this belt is currently being held by Damien Priest, and I'm hoping by the time this video goes out, it will be held by one DM Punk Drew McIntyre himself. That's what I would hope. It of course was originally created for Seth freaking Rollins, and then it was won by Drew McIntyre for about 15 seconds at WrestleMania, before uh, Damien Priest cashed in his money in the bank, and hopefully... Drew McIntyre will be able to get this back in his hometown of Glasgow. You can let me know in the comment section below whether I was correct or whether I was wrong. Hopefully, I'm not wrong about this one. Hopefully Drew McIntyre is the current holder of this, you know, the point of recording. But without any further ado, let's open this up. This of course is not one of the belts that is readily available to the shops. Uh, there hasn't been a mass-produced version of this belt just yet. So this one is only available from events or from the, the WWE web store. Uh, currently in the UK it was not available to either. It comes with this very cool plastic packaging to keep all this all nice and protected. So that is a pretty cool little thing. It of course has the cardboard on the inside to keep it from moving around inside of its packaging. And there is our lovely, lovely, handsome World Heavyweight title belt. Ah, sometimes it is held together with a little bit that's sewn through, but this one is not. There you can see that is what the back of it looks like, and there is the front. It is a very, very cool title. The original belt design is supposed to be based on the WCW World Heavyweight Championship, and of course they've put the giant WWE logo in the centre of it, which is very, very cool. You can see just how nice it shimmers in the light. It's very, very cool. Of course, your generic WWE logos on the side. These would, of course, be whoever is current champion would have their little logos in these parts here and here. So it's very, very cool overall. Very nice. So let's move that off to the side. Put it back. And let's take a look at our second brand new title, which is, of course, the Ubu Championship. That is the undisputed WWE Universal Championship, or shortened down to Ubu, UWU. -U. Uh, of course, created and held by Roman Reigns for a long, 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 long time because he fused the Universal belt and the World Heavyweight belts together and made this gold one and of course is currently being held by Cody Rhodes who has won the belt and at Clash at the Castle he'll be defending it in an I Quit match against the phenomenal one AJ Styles in a rematch of the ages which I think will be a very very cool match to watch live and in person and if you're watching this at some point in the future if you saw Clash at the Castle, or if you checked the Smackdown beforehand, you may have actually seen me in the audience, because I will be there live, and I will be holding up 
a sign of the Grand Cat. Now, this did have this, it just fell off just there. That was covering this part here to keep it all nice and protected, which I think is a really, really cool new thing that WWE have started doing to keep the belts all nice and protected before they get sent out to you. And here is the shimmering big gold belt itself. Of course, looks very, very similar to the the Universal title, both the blue and the red version. And of course, the World Heavyweight title that was the black variant of this. But of course, this is the brand new gold one. It has been out for a little while, but it's not been available in the UK. It's not been available in Europe. It has only been available in America for quite some time. And this is us just getting it now because of Clash at the Castle being held in Scotland. So there it is, very, very nice, very, very shiny, very, very cool indeed. And just as a little added bonus, we've got some other little pendants here. Here is the neck pendant of the Ubu Championship. You can see this is actually significantly more shinier. It's got a lot more going on with the base here. This is just the colouring, uh, I think. This is... Yeah, this this is um, just the coloured part of the, the leather in the background of the belt. So, but this one, of course, it's all integrated and such. There you can see, it's the Undisputed Universal Championship pendant. And let's go ahead and open that on camera. It's not a title belt, of course, but I can't think of where else I would like to showcase this little guy. So there it is. Seems to have a little bit of tape on the back of it. Again, just keep it all nice and protected. There we are. It's very, very cool. Little title thing. Meant for, for wearing around your neck. I'm not sure if I'm going to wear it around my neck, but it is a little cool little thing to have. Uh, let's pull this up and put it just in the corner. And similar to the the Undisputed Universal, well, Undisputed WWE Universal belt, we have a similar pendant of the World Heavyweight Championship. So let's go ahead and open this up. We shall see what this little guy looks like. We actually could be doing some new belts because we've got the, the brand new tag title belts. We've got well, we still don't have a, a North American Championship. I'm not sure. I think there's a couple of other NXT belts that we're missing, certainly the tag titles. Um, so I think there's... We also obviously don't have the, the brand new women's world titles. So that would be the white versions of the World Heavyweight Championship and the Unspeed the Universal Championship, so that would be cool to have. And there we go. There is what our World Heavyweight Championship little pen looks like. Of course, the pen is exactly the same. It's also plain gold metal, but I didn't. But there it is. That is another cool little thing. And of course, spot from Clash at the castle. So there we are folks, that's going to be it for this little video. I really hope that you've all enjoyed. And once again, if you did enjoy it, please give me a like, share and subscribe. And if you are subscribed, make sure you click that notification icon so you can see when more of these glorious little videos go out. And if you are a fan of these belts, do check out the playlist. There is a WF belt collection playlist. Um, I can't remember the name of the playlist exactly off the top of my head. It's something along the lines of the Definitive Wrestling Belt Collection. I believe is what it is. And all of these belts, these ones included, will be on there. I think I've got over 150 different toy wrestling belts that are all on there. And I'm hoping to one day have the entire collection. But there's a couple that has just given me a little bit of problem to try and find, in particular, the old school WWF Women's World Championship that was held by Alundra Blaze. Still have never been able to find that anywhere. If anyone has any leads on it, do let me know in the comment section below. I would be happy to pay an extortionate amount to get hold of that. But that's going to be it for this little video, folks. I really hope you all enjoy. Let me know what you think of the brand new belt in the comment section below. I love hearing your opinions. Which one do you prefer? Do you prefer the, the World Heavyweight Championship? Or do you prefer the WWE Universal Championship? 
the Undisputed Championship? Let me know in the comment section below. But that's it for this video, folks. I hope you all enjoyed, and we shall see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.